Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the new LXLE 1604 beta. Now it is beta. I there are there are some bugs. Um, I'm going to point them out so that the LXLE developers, if they're not aware, they can take the steps to correct them. Uh, now this is the wallpaper that you see. This is basically the install that you see once the uh, once you complete the installation uh, the panel at the top has the date time and weather in the uh, center to the right you have your system tray to the left you have your menu uh, and your file manager and um, all of the things that you normally see in your menu area of your panel now as with most LXLE installs, this one has a lot of software. First of all, accessories. You can see there is pretty much everything that you would need, including LXLE help. But there's weather, there's screenshot, there's random wallpaper, there's parcelite for clip manager, clipboard. And uh, so you've got everything that you need here in the accessories section education that's what you have out of the box lots of games out of the box graphics uh, you've got a lot of variety you've got GIMP LibreOffice draw Mirage photo print shot well simple image reducer and simple scan all of that comes out of the box internet uh, let's see you've got a Mozilla See Monkey uh, for your browser. Pigeon is installed. Transmission you get. So you've got a lot of software again right out of the box. Office, LibreOffice, sound and video. I installed Kazam. Uh, I installed OpenShot. I installed SM Player. Everything else you see here is uh, installed out of, and VLC. I'm sorry, I installed VLC to get get some codecs. Um, but uh, simple screen recorder, uh, Pythos, uh, MPV, GUVC View, Audacity. Those are all installed out of the box. System tools, as you can see, you've got a lot covered. Uh, alternatives configurator. That's for um, system administrators to configure the the, uh, the uh, packages available to the uh, various users. You've got backup tool, bleach bit. Now driver manager does not work. Uh, I tried to install my proprietary drivers was not able to do so. Now it's recommending NVIDIA 361. Uh, it wants to install my Broadcom and Intel microcode from my processor. Now, um, it won't, it will not. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this particular error. If I click on NVIDIA 361 and I click Apply Changes, it says it could not be resolved. Um, there are dependency issues. Not sure why that is. Um, so NVIDIA is out of the question. Uh, if I choose to install Broadcom and I click apply changes, the same thing happens. There are some dependency issues. Uh, the BCMWL, Broadcom Wireless Kernel Source, it's saying that it has unmet dependencies. I'm not sure. Again, I'm not sure why that is. I don't normally see that. So I'm not able to install any of the proprietary drivers, but again, this is a beta package, so I'm sure there are things that need to be resolved. Now, along those lines, I had trouble with uh, GUVC View originally. Um, wasn't working properly. Um, finally, it did. Um, so uh, I'm not sure what the issue is there tried using simple screen recorder that was a little buggy so I'm using Kazam um, so let's go back to the menu uh, system tools pretty much everything that you need is here they have uh, taken the liberty to um, 
give you pretty much everything you need. You don't, the average user won't need to go online and start installing lots of packages. They'll have everything they need. So if they're coming from Windows uh, with a little bit of education, a little bit of uh, uh, perusing the system, uh, they should be able to do everything that they normally do within Windows. For preferences, uh, let's see, customize look and feel. There are lots of uh, variations of the themes. Um, for icons, there's uh, a lot of icons available. And of course, standard configuration options. If I go back to preferences, uh, firewall, input method, open box configuration manager, power management, all of the standard configuration options are here. Um, menu editor, so you can edit the uh, the LXDE menu. Uh, let's see, for updates, I already ran update. Uh, let's see. So this is a all-in-one system update and maintenance application. Finished update, finished updating packages and system libraries. Finished removing unneeded packages. Finished removing old kernels. And finished removing unused configuration files and it is done. Now, um, that's not something you see normally. So that is a nice feature. And so let's go back, since we ran that, let's go back to the drivers. And let's see if there is any change to how that operates. So once the cache is updated, we're going to try to install NVIDIA one more time and just to see if we get the same error message. Okay, and we do. So evidently there are some bugs um, still within the system. Uh, specifically with driver management and hopefully those will get resolved before the final release but again this is LXLE 16.04 uh, this is the new version just came out last night uh, guys I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek and the first look at LXLE thanks for stopping by please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care